WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the uh, Dow Industrials up 292, NASDAQ up 313, S&P's up 66. Big move on the NASDAQ, that's for sure. NASDAQ grabbed everything back that it gave up on Friday. Gold, gold contract down $4.20 trade at 1783 an ounce. We had silver down 33 cents, $22.77 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 23. Now, even up a buck 23, folks, it's only hit 69 bucks. Bottom line, that thing got smoked and smoked. I mean, in a monster way. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note right now uh, trading up four ticks. 30-year uh, uh, down four ticks, rather. 30-year down six. Both the 10 as well as the 30, they went topside, and they went topside in a huge way. They continue to want higher price, lower yield. I know that sounds pretty wild, but the bottom line, you can tell by the way that they moved on Friday, that that's exactly what they're going to get. And good old King Dollar. King Dollar is up 242 ticks, trading out at 96.330. If we get over and we take a look at the S&P, what you're going to see is this. The SPY, you're getting higher. You get volume contracting. The bottom line, you get 52 million shares. You're up $6.5 out here. Uh, nice move. There's no doubt about that. Uh, that being said, though, guess what? When you get this contraction, I suspect, number one, you got window dressing happening. You'll probably go up and reach the high once again. You'll probably do it on lighter volume, and then guess what? My take, we're going to be in a monster consolidation. The highs, I suspect, will get hit first. Then you're going to back off. Uh, you get the contraction that's happening inside the queues right now. And a half a day, the queues went down with 51 million shares. We're going up with 36 million. When I say half a day, we're, we're talking about uh, the aspect of uh, what? Uh, Three point uh, three 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 and a half hours versus six and a half hours. Uh, gold. Gold contract wants higher price. And as uh, Tommy had said this morning, which is really intriguing, if you can find equities, folks, that did not go down on Friday, that is where you want to be. Because the bottom line is that that says huge amounts about how strong the markets actually are. You know, when you get a day like Friday and you get a market, uh, an equity, that's flat or sideways, bottom line, that's showing you the strength that is inside of that equity. We go to take a look at the uh, dollar. What you have with the dollar right now, dollar bottom line, uh, went to higher highs, gave it up. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. <laughs> 